Alright, it's no secret that Stable Diffusion just launched SDXL 1.0. Everyone is covering it. It's available to download right now on Hugging Face. Once you get it installed, you'll be able to run it on your Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 Web UI. You'll have a SDXL Refiner 1.0 model and a SDXL Base 1.0 model. Here's where everything went under the radar. While everyone was busy covering SDXL 1.0 official release, Lycon was busy creating the first fine-tuned SDXL 1.0 model. And within hours of release of the official SDXL 1.0 release, Lycon released a fine-tuned version called DreamShaper XL 1.0. Let's take a look at the different results I'll be testing the refiner model, the base model, and the fine-tuned DreamShaper XL 1.0 model. I'll start with this prompt. Ethereal particles of light wrapped around a beautiful long hair black cat with bright blue eyes close up. And for the negative prompt I'll use. Blurry, bad art, ugly, branding, logo, text, signature, watermark, tie, script, cursive characters. Let's see what the three SDXL models produce. I will start with the refiner model then we'll go with the base and fine-tune DreamShaper XL model. This result was with the SDXL 1.0 refiner model. Let's load up the base model and see what we get out of it. Nice, this is what the SDXL 1.0 base model produced. Now, let's load up the fine-tuned SDXL 1.0 DreamShaper model and see what it creates. Incredible! This is the results for the DreamShaper SDXL 1.0 model. Let's reload the refiner model. This time, I will use this prompt. Surreal minimalism mechanic raven of black metal, cyberpunk render, steampunk details, dark gray gradient background. I'll leave the negative blank. And of course I forgot to mention that with SDXL 1.0 it's an extra large model, therefore you need to generate in a dimension of 1024 by 1024. The lower 512 by 512 will produce funky results. Let's go! Hmm. Not feeling this refiner model. But oh well. Let's move forward. Let's reload the SDXL 1.0 base model. Awesome. This was the SDXL 1.0 base model. Next I am going to load the DreamShaper model. Very nice. This was with the fine-tuned DreamShaper model. So to get up and running with the new SDXL 1.0 models on Automatic 1111 you'll need to visit the Hugging Face link. Click on Files and Versions and download the SDXL Base 1.0 Safetensers model. Save the model to your Stable Diffusion directory under Models slash Stable Diffusion. Next, download the SDXL Offset Example LoRa 1.0 Safetensers and save it to your model slash LoRa directory. And of course, if you want to download the DreamShaper model, installation is exactly the same. Head over to the Civit AI link located in the description and download the file into your model slash Stable Diffusion folder. Once you have everything downloaded, simply start Stable Diffusion or if you already had it running, just click on the blue refresh button next to the model drop down. Supposedly, it can discern differences between concepts like the red square, a famous place, versus a red square, a shape. So let's test that out. Okay, cool. Now let's change it from the red square to a red square. Um, nope, that didn't work. I'll make it more specific by writing. Picture of a red in parentheses color, square in parentheses shape.
Okay, that sort of worked. Let's see how it does with hands. I'll prompt. Beautiful picture of a human hand. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I'd call that beautiful, but that's actually not bad. I can't wait till the SDXL model has control net support. It's going to be awesome. Let's take a look at the Stability AI website again and have a look at some of the other features and improvements. The largest open image model, SDXL 1.0, has one of the largest parameter counts of any open access image model, built on an innovative new architecture composed of a 3.5B parameter base model and a 6.6B parameter refiner. The full model consists of a mixture of experts pipeline for latent diffusion. In the first step, the base model generates noisy latents, which are then further processed with a refinement model specialized for the final denoising steps. Note that the base model can also be used as a standalone module. Then it says, fine tuning and advanced control. With SDXL 1.0, fine tuning the model to custom data is easier than ever. Custom LORAs or checkpoints can be generated with less need for data wrangling. The Stability AI team is building the next generation of task-specific structure, style, and composition controls with T2I slash ControlNet specialized for SDXL. These features are currently in beta preview, but stay tuned for updates on fine-tuning. Image control on SDXL is forthcoming. Sweet! Alright folks, SDXL 1.0 isn't just an upgrade, it's a whole new league in the realm of text-to-image generation and we're only just scratching the surface of its capabilities. Now, the thing that really has me stoked about the SDXL 1.0 is the pure beast mode scale of it, combined with its slick customizability. It's like having a monster truck with the handling of a sports car, we're talking power and precision in one package. And hold onto your seats because control net support is on the horizon. I'm buzzing just thinking about it, we'll be able to fine-tune this model like never before. Remember, SDXL 1.0 isn't just the future, it's the present, and it's one hell of a present at that. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take SDXL 1.0, run with it, push its limits, and create something incredible. I can't wait to see what you come up with. That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.